Hi, this is Jay from Encodian. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can deduplicate data in Excel and CSV files. So I've got a really simple example of Excel document or Excel file, um, and you'll see that within it, it's a list of attendees, just a fictional uh, Excel spreadsheet. We've got rows three and five are duplicated. And what I wanna do is remove the duplicates from this file. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna create a manually triggered flow and I'm gonna effectively choose the file process and put it back. Now, obviously in a real world scenario, your triggers are probably gonna be different where you receive the file and where you send the file to, so on and so forth, will probably be different. But let's just focus in on how we're actually gonna process the file and what we do with the data to dedupe it and update the file or create a new one. So what I'll do, I'm gonna do uh, a new instant flow as I said before, I'm going to manually trigger it. Let's give it a name, deduplicate. Excel. And what I will do in the first instance, I need to get the file that I'd like to update. So my very basic example, I've got the file stored on OneDrive. So I'm going to do get file content from the OneDrive connector, and I'm going to select the file from my demo area. So it's attendees.xlsx. Now, the next thing I need to do um, is I need to start to work with the data inside the Excel file. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retrieve the data from Excel, I'm gonna deduplicate that data, and then I'm gonna convert that data back into an Excel file. And I can do that with the encoding connector. So first things first, we'll do get rows from Excel and there we go. All I need to do is pass the Excel file in and what will be returned to me will be a JSON uh, object representing all the rows contained in the Excel file. So in essence, a JSON array. Um, there's lots of um, configuration options you've got. So about excluding empty rows, empty cells, I think you can target uh, where you want to start from in terms of getting the data, et cetera, or what columns you want to start from, so on and so forth. I'm not going to worry about those. If you if you want to have a look at them, uh, uh, obviously check out the um, support portal, the documentation. It's all covered in terms of what we can and can't do in terms of the extraction of that data from Excel. Now, after this action is executed, or I'll have that data contained within Excel as a JSON document. So what I'm next going to do, I want to deduplicate it. So in the encoding connector, we've got um, quite a number of actions called utility actions, which are um, small pieces of functionality targeted uh, that helping you build flows more easily. So things like generating passwords, random numbers, working with date formats, regex searches. Um, there's a lot of security stuff in here. So creating HMACs, um, hash codes, AES encryption, that sort of stuff. We've also got quite a lot of actions around working with arrays and trying to simplify that within Power Automate. Now, one of the ones I'm gonna use here is the array remove duplicates. So, does exactly what it says on the tin, so to speak. I can pass it a JSON array, which in this example will be the row data coming from the Excel document, um, and I can literally just set it to go and remove the duplicates. So, what I will then get returned from this action is um, an updated JSON array with the duplicates removed. The next thing we're going to do uh, in this particular example, there are two approaches here. I'm going to show you this approach first, and then I've got uh, another flow setup where I can show you the alternative approach. But for this for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, or sorry, for this particular flow, I'm going to take the JSON data that's been updated with the duplicates removed, and I'm going to create a new file. So json to excel there we go i've got the convert json to excel action and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass in and i'm going to pass in the json data it's not a file it's actual string data that's coming from that utility action and it's contained within the result property so the result of the array remove duplicates is our updated json data array and i'm going to save this file as attendees um, updated that's fine now i don't need to again i can there's lots of configurations options here like naming the worksheet um font colors titled whether or not to be bold so on and so forth i'm just going to accept the defaults uh, and i'm just going to pass the data straight in now 
The last thing for me to do is to store this file. I could use update file to update the source file. I'm gonna use create file because if I do update file, then I can't rerun this demo without putting more data in. So in a normal world scenario, you'd probably do update. I'm just gonna do create and create a new file because I've obviously given it a new file name. So um, root blogs, uh, let's just pop this in. Sorry, apologies. Right, I'm gonna put it into that directory. The file name can be the file name coming from the previous encoding action. And again, the file content would be that as well. So basically, let's just have a quick recap of what we've got here. We've got, we're picking up a file from uh, OneDrive. We're taking the data out and converting it to JSON. We're gonna deduplicate that JSON array. And then we're gonna convert that JSON back into an Excel format. And then I'm gonna create a new file. But of course, as I said, that could be um, update the existing file. Okay, so let's just save this and we'll run it through and then we can just hopefully see that we can see the data um, contained within the new file has been deduplicated. And that should run through pretty quickly for me. Okay, there we go, really quick. So we'll just wait for the OneDrive action to create that file. There we go. And I have got a new attendees updated Excel document, which I'm just gonna open and bring that across for you. Oops, sorry, I've done it twice. Let's just move that. To, oh, that is the wrong file. <laughs> right, attendees updated. Right, last modified just now. That's the file that we've just, that's just been created. So there you can see that those, the data contained within that file has been been deduplicated, which is exactly what we're hoping for. Now I mentioned there were two ways of doing this. We've got the um, the approach here, which is where we're taking the rows from Excel, we're deduplicating it, and then we're converting that JSON into Excel format, which is effectively akin to creating a new file, and then we're gonna add that to OneDrive. The alternative approach, uh, which I'll show here, I'll just open this up. It's pretty much the exactly the same at the start of the flow. We're gonna get the Excel file. We're gonna get the rows from Excel. And in this example, what I've done is I've got an attendees formatted Excel, which has got um, some formatting contained within the file itself, which is an important distinction to make. You can see here that I've got that file there. Again, it's the same data, but you can see that the file's been nicely formatted. Um, and the reason why I mention that is the previous example, when we convert from JSON to Excel, we're generating an Excel file with that basic data. So it's not, you know, you're not updating the original file. So in effect, the formatting gets lost. But if it's important to you to keep that formatting, this is a good alternative approach. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Excel data out, uh, sorry, the data from the Excel file as we did before, and we're gonna deduplicate it exactly the same as we did before. But the difference is in this approach, what I'm gonna do is I'm then, I'm going to delete the data from the file, from the source file, I'm gonna remove all the existing data from the Excel file, and then I'm gonna add the deduplicated data back in. So what this means is that I'm working with the original file directly, um, and therefore the formatting can be kept in, I've got update file. Now I've already run this through, so I won't run it through again, but for just, uh, for example, you can see here that it ran through, it's pretty quick, getting the data um, and then updating the file. So what I will then have um, is this updated attendees formatted. So you can see that files run through and I've got the data. Uh, I'm expecting deduplicated in the format that I'm expecting. So hopefully that gives you some good examples about how you can go through um, you can deduplicate data from within Excel, but of course it could be deduplication of any JSON array that you've got and then add those files back in once it's been processed. As ever, if you've got any questions for us, um, please feel free to email us at support.encoding.com and don't forget to check out the documentation at support.encoding.com.